Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new Diamond Zach Levine. If y'all watched my pack opening earlier, y'all know that I pulled this Zach Levine. I'm super excited to get y'all gameplay with this card, see how good he really is in my team, and if he's worth picking up, if he's worth picking up for your day one squad. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 7,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day now that 2K23 is coming out. Gonna be uploading, I think, like 11 videos today. This is probably video eight or nine or something like that, but a lot of videos today, and I'd really appreciate your support. If you haven't already, if you do subscribe, uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into it. And uh, one other thing I do want to mention, my face cam's off. My face cam's been off in every video today. My face cam is just broken right now. I don't know what's going on. I cannot make it work. So uh, just no face cam for today's videos. I'll try to fix it and see if I can get it working for tomorrow. But unfortunately, it's just not working today. So is what it is. Without further ado, I know I've wasted too much time. Let's hop into it and talk about Zach. So Zach is a 6'5 shooting guard, small forward option. Definitely play him in its shooting guard position. Uh, statistically, he looks really good for a day one card. 91 driving layup, 92 close shot, 89 midi, 88 three pointer, a 95 driving dunk, 89 ball handle, 75 steal, 81 perimeter is not horrible. The interior defense and block aren't great, but that's all right. I mean, that's to be expected with a day one Zach Levine. He's honestly pretty quick with an 87 speed and excel as well, 85 speed of ball, and an 81 ladder quickness also is not bad. So, honestly, defensively, he's not quite the liability I expected. Badge wise, three hoffs are fast twitch, limitless takeoff, and pogo stick. 17 golds include acrobat, aerial wizard, fearless finisher, posterizer, pro touch, slither blinders catch and shoot claymore which apparently is a really good badge corner specialist green machine guard up uh, volume shooter bailout clamp breaker quick first step and special delivery also silver giant slayer dead eye break starter hyperdrive needle threader and unpluckable and bronze amped slippery off ball space crater handles for days and pick dodger looking at his upgradable badges the badges that you can upgrade from like silver to gold include i guess unpluckable would be a decent one pick dodger would be a good one on bronze to upgrade as well uh, and badges you can add maybe rise up would be a decent one ankle breaker dimer ankle braces chase down artist a couple of those badges if you want to add some badges to him to improve his playmaking and and his defense would be some solid badges to add. But overall, Levine looks like a really, really good all around day one card. Hopping on here, over here into freestyle. Y'all are going to make fun of me because I'm kind of a bot in this game right now. But I mean, I'm going to be honest. Y'all will get on the game and y'all understand it as well. It is tough to play this game right now. Definitely uh, going to be a skill gap and a lot of adjustment trying to learn how to dribble and consistently trigger animations and things like that. The dribbling is the same, but also different. This is Levine's moving size up. His standing size up is just like this, which is it's decent, but it's not like insane. Uh, behind the back size up is honestly very, very good. I think that's a pretty good move you could use. And he bursts out of animations really, really well. One of the best bursts that I've seen so far in my team. Release wise, they changed Levine's release this year and it's a little bit odd. I think it's pretty good. It's not crazy fast, but it's not super slow either off the catch and shoot. It's a pretty solid release and it's pretty smooth, easy to green as well. Uh, I think I'm shooting on Hall of Fame. Let me make sure I'm shooting on Hall of Fame. Um, Never mind, I'm on semi pro. Hold on. Let's change that to Hall of Fame so y'all can see how tough it really is to shoot on Hall of Fame and what Levine's release is looking like on the toughest difficulty to shoot. That shot was way off. Uh, but shooting is tough. Y'all are gonna learn that with playing this game. It, it's it's just it's gonna be a tough game. Learning how to dribble consistently, learning how to shoot consistently, things like that are just going to take a lot of time this year. And uh, but this Levine, I do think, is going to be a very, very good card. He's gonna be an elite slasher. His movement off of the dribble attack on the rim is really, really impressive. Um, and then his jumper is pretty good as well. And his movement i feel like is very very solid for a day one card obviously not going to have the incredible sigs that end game cards had at the end of 2k22 or anything like that but i do think he moves pretty well with the ball in his hands for a day one card and greens pretty darn consistently well as well especially considering i'm shooting on hoff so uh without further ado let's hop into a game and let's see what zach levine can do all right first offensive possession online this year period let's see what we can get going on the offensive end of the court hit it out to rudy i did not really need to hit that out to rudy i probably should have just stuck with zach we're gonna shoot this one with pow not a very good shot though rudy with the offensive board this isn't a rudy gameplay we'll get to that one later but he throws down the dunk dominating on the boards already love to see that out of rudy uh, out of rudy go but let's see if we can play some defense though if zach can play a little bit of defense that would definitely be nice uh definitely would be nice if he could play some defense that is not no 
chance. I don't know what you're shooting, but there is no chance of that working out. Zach Levine, attack the rim, go all the way. Yes, sir, Zach Levine, throwing it down. Easy slam dunk to start off the game. Gives ourselves a four to nothing lead. See if he can play a little bit more defense as well. Admittedly, as y'all can see, my opponent, not a very good player, not a good team either. So this is definitely a great opportunity to showcase Zach. Just hopefully he won't quit too early. That would be nice. Uh, see if we can burst here. Go back baseline. Zach, all the way to the rim again. Another one. down again. Look at Zach as a slasher. He is absolutely exceptional. Probably one of, if not the best slashers in the game right now, period. Loving what he's given me so far on the offensive end of the court. All right, Zach, we're in a, we're in a tough spot. Let's see if... How, how does mashing work this year? Zach, yes sir, mash at home, let's go. Mashing is not great this year, but if your opponent does jump, if your opponent jumps, does jump like he did right there, it does give you an opportunity to still get that mash off. Zach is able to get that one to go as well. He's up to six points on the game, playing super solid defense as well. But again, my opponent just doesn't know what he's doing in terms of trying to get open. And that's going to be a game. I guess we're going to have to wait another 15 minutes, hopefully not that long, to get into another game. But uh, yeah, Zach Levine played really good in that first one. Let's hop into another game and get some more gameplay with Zach Levine. Second game, our opponent's team is interesting. Mark Jackson, D-Book, Xavier McDaniel, Rick Smiths, and Scotty Barnes. A little bit better team than our first opponent. I will say that. I still think we do have the team advantage. Hopefully, we can get the job done with uh, Levine again this game. See if we can win the tip-off as well, because I don't know tip-off timing right now, but we are actually able to win it, so that is nice. Uh, let's get the ball into Booker, and let's see what he can get going. Uh, this opponent definitely looks like he's a little bit more clued in on how to play this game. Uh, can Booker attack, the, or can Levine attack the rim? Levine can attack the rim, and he's going to draw a foul. We're going to get a chance to check out his free throw ability right here. You have to green free throws this year pretty much. As y'all can see right there, I hey, yo, what the it's literally fuck? 0%. Free throws are much harder this year than they've been in previous 2Ks. We did green that one, uh, so just keep that in mind. Levine does have a very smooth free throw release, despite the fact that I absolutely butchered that first one, so that is nice, but free throws are going to be very, very different this year for sure. Uh, he's going up on Rudy Gobert. I do not think going up on Rudy Gobert is a very good idea. Uh, Zach Levine going baseline all the way to the rim. Zach Levine throwing it down. He is just incredible as a slasher. I'm still figuring out how to score the ball in this game, especially especially in terms of creating open shots, but attacking the rim, Zach Levine is an absolute monster and he is doing an amazing job so far. Great defense by as well. Really, really good defensive possession. He is absolutely boxed. That is an amazing defensive possession. No chance of him scoring on anything like that. Throw it back to the Levine. Let's shoot a moving three. Why not? And we greened it. Oh my gosh, Zach Levine is him. His moving shot is so smooth and so easy to green. Knocks it down. It gives us a six to nothing lead. And he has all six points as well. Just an absolute beast of a card i mean he really can do no wrong right now our opponent actually is somewhat like not clueless this game either but zach levine is just i mean he's literally too good i don't have any Bye -bye. other words right now he is dominating try to get into one more game Bored me. Yes, sir, Rudy. Good stuff. Let's get into our offense. Decided to hop into a triple threat game for this last game just because I think I would be, I was hoping I'd be able to get a game a bit earlier and it did seem to work. I was able to get a game. Bruh. It seems like this Levine card is literally OP against these cards my opponents have right now in terms of his ability to slash through him. It is ridiculous. Just powering through Chauncey Billups, throwing, a, throwing down a dunk. His slashing is absolutely unreal. Good defense. I mean, you're going to have to show me with that MJ. I think he's got like a 63 pointer. If you knock down shots with him, you're just him. I mean, that's, that's just a good shot at that point. If it's if you knock that one down that is a bad shot but we got bailed out slightly late i mean i did time it decently well but uh not a good shot selection whatsoever by me we get bailed out with the foul there we will take that for sure uh drag back oh zach whoa that's not the move i'm trying to do with you at all uh chill okay look at zach yes sir zach attacking the room <laughs> zach levine is unfair this card is absolutely ridiculous he is a freaking god slashing to the rim right now Offensive rebound, Rudy hit it out to Zach Levine. Zach Levine for three wide open green light. Yes, sir. Knock down. Zach Levine hits that three. Love to see it. If you can get an open shot with him, his release is very, very smooth. It's just super tough to, to create open three point shots off the dribble right now. I feel like with the way the game is right now, and I'm sorry, I mean, Chauncey, but oh, dunk the ball though, Zach. I did not want that animation right there. That's one of the few mistakes that he's actually made, uh, hurting his free field goal percentage there. But it, it's tough to create open shots right now shooting the three pointer. I'll just say that. But in terms of slashing the rim zach levine has been absolutely unstoppable has all nine of our points again this game we're again just gonna attack chauncey billups because i just don't think he can get consistent stops okay i i cannot dribble the ball i'm not gonna lie but zach levine he's not even playing any defense levine, right back to the rim throwing down another dunk y'all just his slashing is stupid and it looks like our opponent has left the match i think that's enough gameplay let's hop back to the main menu and talk about zach levine 
All right, in conclusion, Zach Levine is an absolute monster as a slasher, has a smooth release, it's easy to green, it's just very tough to get open, I'm feeling like right now, in terms of creating three-point shots, really haven't figured out the dribbling and how to create consistently this year to this point, but Levine is a monster attack in the rim, has a smooth release, as his moving is very good, and his sigs don't seem too bad either, I just don't feel like I'm very good at this game, and I think that's something that a lot of y'all are going to be able to, um, I guess understand uh, when y'all play this game as well it's tough it's going to be an adjustment for sure but this levine card is really really good an amazing day one shooting guard option he might be the best shooting guard in the game i'm not sure i haven't used dominique wilkins yet and we haven't gotten john havlicek yet or any of those cards yet but i think levine is amazing he's going to be really really good and if you're looking for a top elite shooting guard super fun card to use as well go pick this levine card up and have some fun hopefully y'all did enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit that like button leave a comment and subscribe i'll be back with more 2k content very very soon and i appreciate y'all peace